In this video, you'll learn how to power down and then power up your Unity Family Disk Processor Enclosure, or DPE. Before we start, there are a few things to note. First, you should disconnect all network shares, LUNs, and VMware data stores from each host to prevent data loss. When the system is fully powered up, you can reconnect the hosts to these storage resources. Also, the shutdown process can take between 10 and 20 minutes to complete. During this time, the connection to the system will be lost and you will not have access to Unisphere or the online help. First, we'll show you how to power down your system. In Unisphere, under the System heading, select Service, then select Service Tasks. Now, under Storage System, select Shutdown Storage System. Check the status of the shutdown process by looking at the SP LED indicators. The shutdown process is complete when the two power supply LEDs are solid green and amber, the network management port LEDs are flashing amber and green, and all other SP LEDs are off. After confirming successful SP shutdown, remove all power from the SPs by disconnecting the two power cables from the disk processor enclosures. Wait 10 seconds and confirm that both the green and amber LEDs have turned off after the power cables are removed. Next, we'll show you how to power your system back on. Reconnect the power cables to SPA and then SPB. The rear green SP power LED on each SP turns on. The SPs power on in the same mode that they were in when the system was shut down. For example, if a single SP comes up in service mode, in Unisphere, you need to reboot the SP to return it to normal mode. If both SPs reboot in service mode, always reboot the non-primary node, which is usually SPA, to normal mode first to avoid management software conflicts. When SPA is operating normally, you can return SPB to normal mode. Finally, after all SPs have returned to normal mode, you can reconnect the hosts to the storage resources on the system. For more information and help with other aspects of your Unity system, visit the Unity documentation page at dell.com slash unitydocs.